here we go. Hello there everyone on YouTube and welcome to you guys here on the stream. So let's start up with uh, the Geats uh, campaign once more. You know, let's start a new episode. And the overall idea that's happening here is it's, it's a war of, um, you know, a war of attrition. What, what's happening here is that, you know, the Caledonians and the Gauls are closing in on us, you know, just raiding our places, but I can't attack them because they have so many allies among them. You know, if I just start attacking the Gauls, they will bring the whole Britain against me. And and it's not like I can't take them, you know, I could bring everything out to fight them. Uh, it's just that they would probably get a lot of others uh, into the fight as well. So I kind of have to wait. I kind of have to wait. I'm going to see if I can get this desolate area for them out in Belgica. Maybe that will draw them. Uh, first, hello to you, Red Jimmy. Uh, sorry, Edwin. I'm just trying to see if you guys uh, talk a little bit as well. <laughs> Alright. So, what's going on here? By the way, my taxes are a little bit higher. Just because I want some money. I'm developing my places. I still have to see if... If I'm developing the right way, well, well, if if I'm not, I'll just convert and stuff. So that, that's a little bit of a loss uh, in terms of time, but and some money, but still, it's it's a little bit required. Just one thing that I would like to say: the Germanio, Germano Sarmathia doesn't have anything. You know, I could go here, you know, to this desolate place and to this desolate one. But that would bring me really close to these guys, these Clavinians. You know, there's a lot of desolate places here. Oh my god, everything seems to be desolate. You know, there's a lot of desolate places here. Um, I might be able to attack them, but uh, might be able, you know, to get these desolate places. I don't know if that would be a good idea. For now, I just like the fact that I got Moscow Calais. So that's a little bit of a, a resume of what's going on for you guys on the stream. And yeah, let's go in the turn. I'm just waiting at this point. I'm just waiting for, for these guys to, um, you know, for someone to attack me or something like that. If they start attacking me, well, then finally I'll, I'll be in a war. Because it's been like four to five episodes without any single battle. Oh my god. Hi Edwin, uh, by the way, uh, nice that you're here new on the stream. Sorry if it's exactly the campaign that it's not going on with too much action. It's it's a little bit of uh, campaign action for now. Just because, you know, I'm getting a lot of desolate uh, areas into my uh, territory. And um, trying not to cause war to, against too many uh, factions. On this game, I like to try to take out one faction or at least diminish its, uh, its capabilities. Um, you know, its offensive capabilities for the moment. Versus the Caledonians went away, that's all good. They are no longer threatening here. Maybe the Gauls will do the same thing. Uh, are you new to... Um, are you new to um, Total War? Or to Total War Attila, Edwina? Oh, thank you, Red Chimmy. Oh, you... You, dude. <laughs> He's complimenting me, obviously. Like, I know you know, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I actually don't take comfort too well. You know, because I always go like, I don't know what to say, no. <laughs> Alright, there's a couple of factions here. I might... The thing is, I could actually betray them and completely overrun them in a few turns. But I can't do that. I can't do that. Goals just have way too much stuff. And I don't have anything, you know, to try and persuade other factions to deny the military alliance. Uh, they won't take it because they like them more than, than me. Hmm. Some noble boars. Um, let me check some agents who are here exposed. Uh, good construction. Complete. That's nice. That's more money incoming. Could get the chieftain's house as well. You know, more public order. Less food. Uh, I'll check that out. This guy is ready for action! Like Nuruddin. Ready for action! Okay, these guys have a lot of experience due to that champion. And these guys don't, so I'm just gonna put this champion with this guy. Yes, support army. Let's go. I've since the release of Rome. Uh, Rome 2 or Rome 1? 
<laughs> Red Team is saying, you talked a lot during battles and, and everything else. I do talk a lot. You know, I don't know, I can't shut up. It's, it's, it's a congenital disease, you know, I have to, if, if my mouth start, stops talking, you know, I'll have a stroke. So I have to keep, or I have to keep talking all the time. You know, it's just, it's just something that I have to do. It's just something I have to do. Okay, the elements finally they are improving. Maybe, uh, maybe this is a, you know, the only guys that I think, the only guys that I think that I, I listen because your people that I would attack. You know, I was considering attacking the elements so, for so long, and now they are actually thankful. Okay, defensive. Non aggression pack, they don't like this. Let's see, just uh, range marriage. This girl, uh, success no. Alright, let's not offer her. Let's just go for that. Okay, they probably, it's improving, so they'll probably do so. Rome 1, dude. Oh, Rome 1. Rome 1 was just, you know, if you, if I go, I went back just for a challenge that was set up by, um, who was it? Can't remember who was it. Um, Hi, Nick Master. Welcome to the stream, dude. I have the best English. You know, that's that's an insult to English native speakers. <laughs> but I don't know. Sometimes I go, you know, American accent, standard, and then I start talking like a, um, a, an English speaker. You know, this is a little bit odd that I, you know, when I when I start speaking like that. All right. So I'm just talking with the guys on stream and just not doing too much. The, the basic idea here is that nothing has happened here against the coals. So I'm going to try to see if I can convert this a little bit, or maybe just build up some stuff. I wanted this. Tolls and customs, I don't think. Um, how much will it take? How much turns? Okay, 12 turns for that. So maybe I can actually just build this up, or use the money for other things. You know, considering 12 turns is not that much. So I just want to see if I can develop a lot of places. Let me go first here to Hafen. Try to get something that would allow me some more happiness. This would allow me some more happiness. Now this town here. That would be nice. You know, this wouldn't. You know, I'm severely suffering for for that. You know, I don't have these. Well, I don't have any chiefs as well. I have one. But I would need more I'll cancel down. I need the seventh one. I need the seventh one. The fa uh, people are talking on the, on the stream regarding the Total War Warhammer. I think it's a nice decision. You know, it will uh, you know it will be good to appease to some other players that would like the Fantasy Warhammer. Uh, I'm particularly thrilled because I want to see how it goes. You know. And uh, I would I would prefer if it was third age, you know, <laughs> that would be awesome. But for now, well, we gotta keep going with this. Okay, this lady has some stuff to upgrade. Let's go with more stuff. Okay, this is spread religious action. That's nice. You can't go differently. And this gives less public order. This gives some more inspiration. Inspire troops. That gives a lot of integrity. It's nice. Let me just check my forces. Anything else? Yeah, this guy should upgrade. Right, this is a nice dude. So, what can he do? Military training, he's already doing that pretty well. I think I'm gonna go with, you know, extra stuff. Sabotage building, that's always nice. That's cool. Oh, um, by the way, guys, for you guys all that are not on the stream, Edwin is just checking, uh, saying that he uh, he believes that uh, uh, the battle tactics w would change a lot due to the new ideas on, uh, you know, regarding em mostly everything. Um, let me just see how much money do I need here. Eight thousand. Okay, let's go for that. You know, two turns. That's all that I need. I'm still improving on everything. Uh, that on Total War Warhammer, you're gonna need a couple of actions, uh, different actions, um, and different battle tactics to incorporate the flying units, the magical units, and stuff. I think that's that's something that should be interesting. I'm not, um, to tell you the truth, I, I think the same thing that happened with Rome 2 will happen. 
like they tried to apply a lot of ideas on the same game and they failed on ones and they achieved greatly on others. So then Total War Attila came and everyone is wishing, okay, I want Total War Attila to be with the same idea as Rome 2 because I don't want so many hordes. Uh, you know, that's the general idea. You know, Total War Attila for me seems like a good improvement on Rome 2. It has some different ideas that I would love to see on Rome 2. Uh, like the political idea, for instance. Everyone was asking regarding it, and I think they make it, you know, just stand perfect. Uh, or next to perfect. So, I think the same thing is going to happen with a Warhammer. They're going to hit some stuff really well, they're going to miss some stuff really badly, and, and then there will be a new title right after that that will, you know, set it up great. So, for now, I'm, I'm judging, you know, just, just considering that. Uh, probably Warhammer will be something like a 7 out of 10, you know, just just without anything, because they are changing so much so much stuff that it's going to be a balance. Uh, um, um, it's going to be a bal balance nightmare with uh, on the multiplayer and stuff, and uh, even on the core gameplay, it's going to be a little bit stranger. Right, we have some money there. Uh, fodder. Okay, I got something out of that. I could go for this one, which will give me more campaign movement range. I think that's a good idea. You know, this is really expensive. This gives me some more recruitment capacity and stuff. I think for now, I think going for this doesn't unlock a couple of uh, different stuff. Yeah, Medieval 3, I would love if... Uh, you get my, my drift, Edwinian. I would love if they would make Medieval 3 after Call of Warhammer because then they can incorporate the things that they got from Call of Warhammer into Medieval 3. You know, and Medieval 3 coming out right after Total War Attila, I would buy it immediately. You know, it's I, I would I would tell them don't change anything. <laughs> Total War Star Wars, <laughs> no, don't go at, don't don't go there. All right, let me just make the map a little bit here. If I wait, I actually can go into the desert area. So I'm not going to go for that, I'm just going to spend a couple of turns here on Tolls and Customs, or the Royal House, Or this. Or even this. No, I don't need any food, so I think I'm going to go for this, for a little bit, you know. Well, this is actually good for happiness, so let's just get rid of the problems with uh, there. <laughs> Medieval 3 is going to be like Half-Life 3. Oh, please, no. I don't want to have kids by the time that I play Medieval 3. Come on, dude. Come on. Uh, okay, I'm going to wait one time for that and conquer and let this land area. I'm not going to build anything now, even though I have some money and stuff. Um, let me just check out the happiness overall. Everything's fine. Uh, actually, I should be checking more like this. You know, these guys are quite... Positive, we're going to see, you know. Uh, just checking a little bit on the diplomacy. I know that I'm going, you know, a little bit. Um, I'm going a little bit slower on this one. It's just building up and stuff. Okay, the physical self deteriorating. This is deteriorating. This is unfriendly. But it's not. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with honey. Speak plainly. And you I want that? No. Let me just check the yellow ones to see who is deteriorating. Okay, the Ruchians is deteriorating because I'm a great power. Okay. It's the fact that I'm great power that's causing all of this. You know, I should go. Okay, this is improving. These guys are nice. This is deteriorating. Deteriorating. Yeah, only the elements. I think going with the elements would be really nice. Okay. To war, Spec Ops, War on Terror. <laughs> That'd be nice, Rachiri. That would be completely overpowered spies. <laughs> completely, like anything would be just spies. And the most important resource, oil. I wonder why. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> That would be so controversial, dude. I'm just thinking of the controversy that would be something like Total War Spec Ops, War on Terror. Oh my god. Who are the evil factions? Who are the good ones? Come on, dude. 
Exactly, admitted. You're ch you <laughs> you're saying he would sue everyone. <laughs> I don't blame you. I I would be like, really? We are going that way, CA? I don't know. It can be a little bit iffy, you know. I wouldn't advise that. <laughs> Alright, 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 alright. Come on! You know, there's so many factions, I just want to kill some factions. You know, I'm being a little bit uh, just constructing, constructing things and stuff. Um, but that's, that's what I have to do. You know, if I betray the goals, for instance, then I'll have five factions against me at the same time. Mission issue. Really, I need to forge a defense of a military alliance with the guys that I just destroyed? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Construction complete. A town. Unseasonal conditions. Hidden agents. Blah, blah. Okay. Let me just check out here. Okay, these guys are improving. And let them improve. Let me check the happiness. This is lowering a little bit. Not too much. It's going to take quite some time to do so. Um, and I can improve on this village, but for now, for now, let's just go and colonize here. Thank you, Colonia Agrippina. And I need a little bit of money to, you know, convert this. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. No, I don't have a lot of dudes here, but not a problem. Uh, this is going well. I ha still have some money. Let me check in terms of trade. This is a really good idea to check if it's just the happiness overall. Happiness. This is fine. Rujin is still going to hang on perfectly. Now then I'm, as soon as I have a, a next one, I'm gonna go with this, you know, the sanitation first. <laughs> Everyone on the stream is going, okay, let's not speak of this again. <laughs> Uh, okay, for now, nothing that I can do. I, I could start using a couple of my spies, but I really want to check this area right there. No, Visontio has nothing. Let me just check. Yeah, let's just see if this is still desolate areas. If it is still desolate areas, then it's fine. Then I'm gonna go over to Durukuturu. Uh, I could go and destroy the Gauls in like one or two uh, battles. You know, capture Visontio. This is desolate. Where is the desolate area? That's there. It's it. Hey, the Camelodonans, they're going right there. Hmm. That's not easy. It's not easy. Look, the nun, you know, I don't want to go and expand too much into France. I would prefer to go into Britain. Who can I actually betray? Yeah, let's make some plans. Who can I actually betray here? That doesn't have too many, too many allies. They just have coal as military and the Picts as defensive. And the Picts have a lot of dudes. The Danians have some. You know, Gaul, Britain, the Picts, everything here is actually quite fond of each other. But I would go against the Caledonians, honestly. Admires Western moments. Hmm. I think going against the Caledonians might be the best idea, but they you know they only have provinces that I don't want. Honestly, the goals are the guys that I really would like. So maybe I can just, you know, build up a couple more uh, more armies. Let me check if my, I'm near the limits. Oh, I've been forgetting about this stuff. Let me check here. You girl, you should arrange a marriage. To whom? Oh, I cannot take... Put it. This character is already married. Okay, everyone else is married. That's not good. And she can't arrange a marriage. No, secure loyalty, change for clarity, assistance, and support. Right, not really. So, who can go into companion? This guy is already there. This guy is already there. This guy can go into elder, but he is... Where is he? He is actually... Um, he's a governor. Okay, then he should be going into elder. This guy, he's actually a governor, so he should stay on judge. Judge is one of the best. Uh, for the, um, you know, for the uh, provinces, because it's more influential on the provinces. You know, if I go here, it's just for general. So where are a couple of my generals? This guy is a general. 
he might go into this or this. Let's go make him a warlord. This guy can't do anything. This guy, he's a general and can't do anything. This girl can't do anything for now. This guy is a governor that can go judge. Nice. This guy is just a general, can't do too much. Gizur. What's this dude? Hroar and Turgeir. Oh, dude, these names. That's fine. That's fine. You're playing as a Portuguese in Medieval 2. Oh, man. Portuguese are so cool. I love their starting position. Actually. No, not just, you know, saying, hey, I'm Portuguese and stuff. I love them. No, but really love their initial stuff. Right, I can recruit some Viking Raiders here, and I sh certainly should. Some Nordic Pikes. Okay. Let's check the types of units that I can recruit here. Let's just recruit one of those. That's it. Uh, for now, everything seems to be fine. Let's end up to turn. End up to turn. Couple more turns here. I'll try to just convert to some stuff. Uh, you know, one more province. One more province is always nice. Or one more settlement is always nice, even though if it's just a desolate stuff. But yeah. <laughs> You're hearing Portuguese accents. <laughs> I, I have such an accent, but do I have such an accent if that it's noticeable? Or or do you or you know, if you didn't know me, if you didn't know that I'm Portuguese, would you ever notice? Because I really don't know, you know. Uh, I try to speak my, my best English <laughs> that I can. Of course, there's sometimes, you know, in terms of phrase construction and stuff, that's, you know, in grammar and stuff, I don't do that really well. Uh, but I try, you know, I try my best. <laughs> it's a difference when, um, after, after you, when, when you're going to classes all the time, you just know the exact, uh, exact idea how to, you know, properly go with it, the grammar, the English grammar, when you're just talking in front of your computer, <laughs> you know, it'll say a lot of stuff that doesn't make any sense. And there's no one there to say, hey, you made a mistake. Edwin is actually asking why the Portuguese start with a settlement in Nevada. Um, honestly, it doesn't make too much sense, even though there was kind of an alliance at some point. But I guess it's just to make the, the faction a little bit more uh, powerful, you know. Uh, if there was any uh, small uh, islands nearby, perhaps they they should have those. But still, no, it's it's usually. I would think you were from Wales. Really, I have a Welsh accent. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I can lose a little bit of control, but my power oh, power is balanced. I do have some influence, so I'm just gonna go for this. You know, less influence on this guy as well. He has a little bit of that. Let's go political favors there. Okay, this. Oh, that's nice. Let's. Okay, pay him off or ignore it. No, let's pay him off and some office secured. So that's nice. Some rank gains and stuff. Regional rating. I have a lot of raids going on. But now I have some money. Let's go for Colonia Agrippina. Let's go Torp. You over here on Rugion, you can increase the throws. And that's about it. Do I have anything that I can build here? Uh, just the same stuff, so no. Should I have another archer? Or should I have Nordic bows instead of this? Now these guys have the same ammunition and the missile damage doesn't do too much. Yeah, really are. Really, it's just the possibilities of fire arrows and stuff. Hey Spartacus, uh, not really wondering, uh, if you wonder why I would not stream Third Age, it's because I'm far too ahead on the recordings on the Third Age. Uh, I already recorded yesterday, but even though it was for my Portuguese comment uh, campaign. Uh, but yeah, uh, for today there won't be any Third Age. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, let me check here, Colonia Agrippina, for a little bit. This needs... how much does this need? Okay, I need to dismantle this. Yep, I need to dismantle that, but after the tour, of course. Let me just check here. There we go, there's the desolate. So this is one, one thing that I would love. 
You know, if I go against the Gauls, I would have to defend Byzantium. That's it. And then I'll have everything here on the control and Flevum. The biggest issue is this. You know, Alabu and Heffernshot, they would be... You know, they would be defenseless against such an ar some armies from these guys. And they have a lot of scouts with them and stuff. And some champions. I wonder why the champion isn't with them. So that would be dangerous. You know, I think I'll probably just stay put, um, get rid of all my buildings, start having a lot of money, and actually I didn't check the faction to see. We have some governors. Yeah, we have governors everywhere. Uh, summary: I can have four more armies. So I'm trying. To, that's what. That's the plan. Right now, there's the plan. Um, this is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go with. Uh, uh, building up everything that I can from now on and then as soon as I have a lot of money I'll be able to field four more armies and then I'll be able to stop them. unstoppable unstoppable okay let's go with some actions I want all the political actions available for these guys and yeah for you guys on YouTube sorry it's another one without any battles if you want to check out a lot of battles check my Ostrogoths campaign because there's a lot of battles going on over there um, this one is mostly like, uh, you know, it seems like I'm playing Civilization. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I hope I get some battles in the new time and new future. But for now, that's what we, we're up against. So cheers, guys, for you guys on YouTube and uh, for you guys on the stream. Just keep going.